Hey, Amy. I just came back from the city hall. We're officially married. Thanks, Danielle. I can't wait for our life together. Same here, Amy. Although I should warn you that my sister will probably start to fuss again. If she sends you a message about our marriage, be sure to tell me immediately. I haven't told her about getting our marriage license yet. Wait, you haven't told Sam yet? I had planned to, but I just couldn't say it. No matter what I say, she's so against us being together. So my parents gave me the advice of just not telling her. Oh, I had no idea. But what can I do to help out? I know that since I used to work at a hostess club, she doesn't really approve of me. But still, I can't change my past, and I really have no reason to just for approval. I was aware that she is a bit of a brother complex since we were little, but I really didn't think it would evolve to this level. Anyways, we're just gonna have to take her time with this situation. I'll just have to explain and show her how much of a wonderful woman you are. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, Danielle. Okay, well, I'm gonna start getting the house ready for the movers. I should have all our stuff ready for the new house by tomorrow. You sneaky little wench! How dare you get married to my brother behind my back! Well, that was fast, expected, but faster than I anticipated. Daniel just moved out of the house this morning. He just told me that the place he's moving to is a new house with you. You guys got married yesterday. You really thought that it was okay to hide something this important from your sister-in-law? We all agreed to hide from you because of the current reaction you're giving, Sam. Of course we wanted to tell you. Huh? So you're trying to say that it's my fault? Well, you won't approve of Daniel and I's relationship. Your brother tried so hard to have us get along, but you'd always flake out on any plans together or just flat out block me. That's why we gave up and just decided to get married. Don't give me that! All you want from my brother is his money anyways. He works for a really great company. That's why you wanted to marry him. Cancel the marriage and give me back my brother immediately! I've already explained to you multiple times, but I'm not after your brother's money. I fell in love with his personality, not his money. <laughs> you probably said that to hundreds of other men. I'm not going to be fooled by your little tricks. Look, if I was really after money like you think I am, I wouldn't have picked your brother. I've had customers who made a yearly wage over a million dollars. Compared to that, Daniel's yearly wage doesn't really seem like much. Did you really just say that about my brother? You just disrespected my brother! I really can't trust you at all! My brother has to be fooled by you, which means it's my job to protect him. Sam, don't be ridiculous. My brother is who I look up to. He was always so nice and was always on my side since we were little. Even when I got bullied at school and didn't go anymore, he was the one who worried about me the most out of everyone. He told my bully to never go near me again. Oh my, what an amazing story. I can't help but love Daniel even more now. But now, my heroic brother is marrying a girl who looks just like my bully did. I can never accept that. Wait, what? Is that the reason why you don't like me? All because I look like a girl who used to bully you? Exactly! You guys look the same, so there's no way that you don't behave the same way. I bet you're the type to laugh at people like me, just like she did. You can't be thinking like that all the time. I used to dress all loud and whatnot when I worked back at the hostess club, but now I've settled down. My hair is back to a natural black color, so I just look like any other normal person. No reason to be so scared of me. I'm not the type to be mean to someone, especially you, Sam. 
You expect me to believe you? People who work at hostess clubs are just scum. You're just like all those horrible people. I don't care how you look now. There's no way I'm falling for that. Sam, you're being a bit harsh on people you don't know. You don't know what these people are going through to be working hard at night like they are. Huh. What about work like that is worth protecting? All they do is drink with a bunch of old dudes and be all loud. You don't understand how hard it is to be all cheerful and happy like that when any type of person, no matter how they are. <sighs> Why would I even want to understand a job like that? What did you just say? I could understand and possibly approve of the job if it was due to something like family reasons, but that's not the case with you, isn't it? You had your parents pay for college while you worked there, right? I hate people like you who live so carefree like that. Don't like the fact that my brother married you to get to your head. I'll be sure to make you guys break up. Even though we're married already, to be honest with you, we were also planning on having a wedding as well. Oh, what? There's no way I'm letting that happen. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that my brother is safe from you. <laughs> I finally managed to do it. I cancel tomorrow's wedding. Wait! Cancelled? Must feel bad, huh? The wedding between you and Daniel is all gone. There's no way I would have allowed you guys to show your love to others. Hang on a minute, Sam. Are you really telling the truth about the cancellation? You contacted the people at the venue? Yeah, that's right. I called them just now. I told them that you guys are gonna get a divorce, so I asked them to cancel the wedding. They were asking for ID confirmation, but I managed to get my way. Yelling at a staff for two hours straight, managed to get it happening. You have to be kidding me. Marriage licenses at the end of the day are just paper. You can easily change that into divorce papers without people knowing. Weddings are a different issue though. I just had to prevent you guys from officially becoming husband and wife in front of people. So you did all of that just so that other people can't see us happily together? I never thought you were the type to do something that stupid. What are you talking about? You're the one who hid the fact that you guys got married. Which is why I get the right to do that. You can't complain about this because it's only fair. Uh-huh. <laughs> I bet you were so relaxed. You guys officially got married, so you thought I wouldn't do much. You let your guard down, and now I managed to cancel your wedding the day before it was supposed to happen. I win. I don't think this is really a competition. I won't say anything negative, so I need you to call the wedding venue staff and tell them you need to retract the cancellation request. Why would I do that? The wedding you were so excited for is cancelled. Get over it. A shame too. You had such a nice wedding plan out too. Your very expensive wedding is cancelled. Next is your marriage. Women like you need to stay away from my brother. You don't have any fancy weddings to look forward to anymore. Oh no. I was just confused. Because we had the wedding last week. What? <laughs> I'm so glad we had the wedding prior to all this. Or else, this would have been a huge issue. Wait, what are you talking about? You guys had the wedding last week? I didn't hear anything about a change of schedules. That's because I didn't tell you about it. That's why you don't know, Sam. What? Hang on, Daniel? I was watching the entire thing happening the entire time. Goodness, he really went way too far on this one. What is going on? Why didn't you invite me to the wedding? I'm your sister. 
I have never heard of somebody not inviting their adorable little sister to a wedding. <laughs> you have some nerve to be saying all of that when you've been so against our marriage. You should think about what you've been doing. What? We have no reason to invite someone who doesn't approve of our marriage to the wedding, which is why I decided to get you off the guest list. Our parents gave the suggestion of changing the wedding date. That's how we secretly had the wedding. This can't be happening! So mom and dad know everything? They knew that I was excluded from the wedding? You all had fun at the wedding without me? Yeah, the wedding was so much fun. Amy looked so beautiful in her dress, and all our friends and family were so happy for us. It was a wonderful ceremony. I can't believe this. My own brother would hide something like this. You purposely kept this a secret and excluded me. How could you do something like this so mean to me, Daniel? Who are you to say that? You're the one who tried to cancel my wedding. You acted out on your own thoughts without even getting to know Amy. You have no right to complain. All right. I canceled a wedding. But if I didn't cancel your wedding, then whose wedding did I cancel? How should I know? But you sure did mess up with canceling a wedding that's about $7,000. What should I do? They have to be super rich in order to afford something as extravagant as that. What if it's a super elite couple? What have I done? You better call the venue staff immediately and fix the problem before it gets worse. After that, you and I are going to have a talk as well. I'll have you make sure to think over your actions from here on out. What? You aren't thinking of cutting all ties with me or anything, right? No. That's exactly what I planned to do. I didn't expect you to be the type of person to do something like this, Sam. I had tried so hard to get you to get along with Amy, who has also been so patient with you, but I'm so tired of this. I don't need to be connected with someone as bitter as you are. Hang on! I did it all for you, though. A former hostess isn't someone worthy of marrying someone like you. There are way better options for you out there. That's why I did this. Try to understand how I feel. I don't even want to. So what if she used to work at a hostess club? She worked hard and that effort paid off. She has her own store now. All that hard work for her dream to come true. To be able to marry a girl like that makes me the luckiest guy ever. Wait, a store? She owns her own hostess club now? Her dream since she was little, to own a flower shop. She studied anthology and business when she was in college. After she graduated, she worked as a hostess to save up money to open her own shop. While she was working, she learned more about business and gained future customers. And because of that, managed to be a huge success after opening her store. Amy is such an amazing woman. What? That's why she was a hostess? She had planned it all out just for her goals of opening a flower shop. Making flowers for events and such has got her so many customers. She makes the most elegant-looking floral arrangements, all while having a fair price for them. She had all that planned out while working. Of course she had to study how to be a good hostess as well. She managed to become one of the top three earners of the club. I only have respect for her. What? She finally achieved her dreams, and I want to continue to support her as her husband. So do me a favor and don't show your face near us again. You're only in the way of our happiness, Sam. Huh? Goodbye. The last time we'll talk is when we meet back home. After that, you better leave us alone. Please help, Amy. Let me borrow some money. The wedding venue is making me pay back the $7,000 they lost. Wait, what is going on? The wedding venue? As in the place you cancelled a wedding at? Yes! They just called me just now. When I cancelled the wedding, they took the money for the cancellation. What? This isn't my fault. I didn't know anything. You guys got married without telling me. So I thought I would take the money that would be refunded from cancelling. I heard you were paying for half of the wedding, so I took and spent all the money. 
You used it all? Hang on. Let's calm down and think this out. You managed to drop a cancellation of the wedding, right? Yeah. I called them and apologized for my mistake and for them not to cancel the wedding for tomorrow. They switched over to the person in charge and found out that I was the one who yelled at their employees for two hours. He said that my actions can't be forgiven easily. Oh my. The person who canceled the wedding was a new employee you joined this month. They got so scared after my phone call, they apparently started crying. They were supposed to confirm my identity, but I didn't, and just accepted the refund information. Which is what you just casually accepted. And to add to that, you thought it was my money, so you used it all up without a second thought. Yes! After that, the people at the venue figured out I wasn't the future spouse of tomorrow's wedding. The wedding will go on without any issues, but because I caused so many problems for everybody, I'm doomed! They told me that they'll file a police report on me if I don't give them back the money soon. Even if the staff at the wedding venue was at fault, they are still a newbie. You harassed that newbie as well, so I guess that person isn't at fault. It's all your fault, Sam. You don't have to tell me that. That's why I'm asking for your help. Let me borrow the money. I need to pay them back. Clip proof of your marriage if you do. <laughs> I refuse. That is your own problem. I'll forever be in your debt. If you help me out, I will be the best sister-in-law for you. I don't need or want any of that from you. With that being said, I refuse to help. What? Then what am I supposed to do? How am I gonna give back that much money? How about working at the hostess club? I'm sure you could pay that back within a few months. I could have gotten it within one month. Hostess clubs pay that much? Depends on your effort. I can't afford to be picky. I'll go into working within the nightlife for now. So tell me what store you work at. My store? Yeah, I've never done this before. I don't want to work at some shady club. That doesn't mean I know which ones are safe and which ones aren't though. I'm sure I could trust the store that somebody I know worked at. That makes sense, but it'd be impossible for you to get in. People at your level won't be accepted. What do you mean, people at your level? They're picky about things like that? Well, yeah. Depending on a store, the customers vary. They're pretty harsh when it comes to things like that. Girls get ranked by their face, body, clothes, and personality at these places. Girls who had the highest scores were accepted to work at the place I did. So you're saying that because I'm below you, I won't get accepted? I can refer you, but it'd be a waste of time. The manager is very strict when it comes to girls. I've seen him drop an interview after two seconds. In just two seconds? <sighs> I'll refer you to the store, but whatever happens next is completely out of my reach. To avoid getting in trouble with the police, you better work hard, okay? Sam really did try to apply to the club I worked at with my referral, but that ended tragically. The interview ended at a new record speed of less than one second. Apparently, she was given a chance at an interview because of me, but she ended up arriving late. After that, Sam saved a lot of money from lots of different jobs to which she eventually was able to pay back the money she owed. Apparently, she had so many additional fees to pay back for the mess she's made and that the total amount she had to pay back rounded up to $10,000. Daniel really did end up cutting all ties with Sam and her parents had kicked her out of the house as well. She's been working hard as a hostess for a while now, but due to her poor skills and foul attitude, she has been fired from multiple locations.
Hey, Vanessa! Guess what? I got promoted at work today! I can't believe it! Oh, wow, Helen! That's amazing! Congratulations! You totally deserve it! Thanks, Vanessa! Hey, since you're the best sister-in-law ever... Can you do me a favor? I've been eyeing this really cute handbag, but it's quite expensive. Hmm, do you think you can get it for me? Um, well, Helen, I'm really happy for you, but I have to be honest. I'm not sure if I can afford an expensive handbag right now. Things have been a bit tight lately. Oh, come on, Vanessa! You and Hudson are doing just fine financially. I'm sure you can manage it. Pretty please? Well, I understand it's a special occasion for you, but it's just that it makes me feel uneasy to spend so much on a handbag. Oh, don't being too modest, Vanessa. It's just a small splurge for a big celebration. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Alright, Helen, if it means that much to you, I'll get you the handbag. Yay! You're the best, Vanessa! Thank you so much! You're going to make me the happiest woman ever! Hey, Hudson. I need to talk to you. It's about Helen. What's up, Vanessa? Is everything okay? Well, Helen texted me earlier about her promotion at work, and I congratulated her. But then she asked me to get her an expensive handbag as a present. Wait, what? That's strange. H Helen has only been working at her new job for about three months. There's no way she got a promotion already. Right? That's exactly what I thought. And it doesn't end there. She even asked me for four different expensive presents in just a few months. All for different occasions. Four presents? This doesn't sound right, Vanessa. Sorry if I'm making this awkward though. She's your sister after all. I'm just uneasy. I mean, it's not okay for Helen to keep asking you for things like that. Especially if she's making up promotions and taking advantage of you. Thanks for being understanding. I just wanted to be honest with you about it. I don't want any secrets between us. You did the right thing, telling me. I wanted to know that I'm on your side. And I don't think it's okay for Helen to put you in this position. We'll figure out a way to address this together. Thank you, Hudson. It means a lot to me. I just hope we can find a solution without causing any conflicts within the family. We'll handle it delicately, Vanessa. Family is important, but so is our own boundaries. We'll find the right balance. I can't believe you talked to Hudson about our conversation! Ugh, I'm so pissed and hurt right now! How could you do that to me? Helen, I'm really sorry if it came across that way. I didn't mean to hurt you. You didn't? Explain yourself! I just felt it was important to be open with Hudson about what was going on. I hope you can understand the tough situation I was in. No, Vanessa. I don't understand at all. We're a family, and families should support each other. Ugh, I can't believe you don't want to do something as simple as buying me a few things I like. Helen, it's not about wanting to do things for you. It's about making sure we're all comfortable. I believe there are other ways to show affection and support besides expensive gifts. Other ways? Like what? Are you saying that my happiness doesn't matter to you? No, Helen. That's not what I'm saying at all. I care about your happiness, but it shouldn't solely depend on material possessions. <sighs> it should depend on material possessions. I can't believe you're saying this, Vanessa. I thought you were different. I thought you understood me. Helen, please, try to see things from my perspective. I want us to have a strong bond. I'm sorry if my viewpoint hurts you, but I hope you can find it in your heart to understand. Hmm, I need some time to think about this, Vanessa. I'm really hurt right now. Don't expect me to just get over it easily. Take all the time you need. Just know that my intentions were never to hurt you. We'll see, Vanessa. We'll see. Hey, Vanessa. Is everything okay? I just talked to Helen, and she mentioned something about being upset. Hey, Hudson. Yeah, Helen seemed upset, but I tried my best to handle the situation. Well, I honestly think she just needs to grow up a bit. Who asked their sister-in-law for presents like that? For presents like that? You're not Santa Claus. <laughs> You're funny. This is why I married you. Speaking of marriage, I have some news for you. Remember how we never got a chance to go on our honeymoon? Well, I've been planning a surprise trip for us. Really? Oh my goodness, Hudson! That's amazing! Um, where are we going? We're going to Maldives! I thought it would be perfect destination for our long-awaited honeymoon. Oh wow, I've always dreamed of going there. I can't believe you planned this for us. 
I knew you'd be thrilled. We leave in two weeks. I've taken care of everything. So all you need to do is pack your bags and get ready for an incredible time together. Thank you, Hudson. This means the world to me. I can't wait for our romantic getaway. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Yes, Nelly, we're leaving in a few weeks. I can't believe this. How can you afford to go to such an expensive place without even getting your sister-in-law some nice presents? Nelly, I understand that you may be upset, but the trip to the Mollies was planned by Hudson as a surprise for our long-delayed honeymoon. It's not about intentionally leaving anyone out. Oh, don't give me that excuse, Vanessa. You're going on a luxurious vacation. We can't even get Helen something nice. You're being heartless and selfish. Nelly, please try to understand. The trip was Hudson's idea, and it's something we've been wanting to do for a long time. Been trying to find balance between our financial responsibilities and personal desires. I don't want to hear your excuses. Family should take care of each other. And you're failing to do that. It's clear where your priorities lies. Nelly, I'm sorry if it seems that way to you. Slies. Nelly, I'm sorry if it seems that way to you. But we all have different financial situations and priorities. You don't understand, Vanessa. I never thought that you would become so distant and uncaring. I don't even know who you are anymore. Nelly, I'm sorry if you feel that way. Can we talk about this in person? Hudson? Have you talked to your mom? I just got off the phone with her. I'm sorry for the drama. It's not your fault. I'm really just upset about what your mom said. I can't believe she would think that way about us. I know, Vanessa. And I'm sorry. Please, don't let her words get to you. I promise I'll talk to her again and sort things out. It just hurts, Hudson. I never thought she would have such negative perception of me. I'm so sorry again. Sometimes she has her own way of expressing herself. But please know that I'm on your- Hudson. I appreciate you standing up for us. It's just that the whole situation caught me off guard. I know, but let's not let overshadow our plans. We still go to the Maldives. Let's push things back a little. I want to make sure I have enough time to settle things with my family and ensure that everything is okay. That sounds like a good plan, Hudson. I'm looking forward to our trip, even if it's delayed. Listen, I never want you to feel caught in the middle. We'll work through this together. Our trip to the Maldives will happen. We'll make sure everything is in the right place before we go. Yeah, I trust us. Vanessa! Guess what? You won't believe what just happened. Oh, Helen! You sound really excited. It must be a good news. Tell me. I just got engaged, Vanessa! My boyfriend proposed to me and I said yes! I'm over at the moon right now. Oh my goodness, Helen! That's incredible! I'm so happy for you. Congratulations! Thank you, Vanessa! I wanted to share this moment with you because you're an important part of my life. By the way, I wanted to invite you to my bachelorette trip. It would mean the world to me if you could come. Wow, Helen! I'm truly honored to be invited. Of course! I'll be there to celebrate with you. You know, I just really wanted to move past everything and give us an opportunity to get to know each other better. We will create positive memories together on the trip and make up for what happened. Helen, I appreciate that so much. I'm looking forward to spending time with you and being part of your party. That means a lot, Vanessa. I can't wait for the bachelorette trip. Congratulations again on your engagement. And let the celebrations begin. Hey, Hudson, have you heard the news? Helen just got engaged. Yeah, she told me about it. It's great news. I'm really happy for her. Oh, and by the way, she invited me to her bachelorette trip, which is just four days before our Maldives trip. Four days before? That's gonna get really close, Vanessa. Are you sure you can handle such an intense schedule? I know it's going to be hectic, but I want to make an effort to get along with your family. It's important for me to be there for Helen. After the things we went through. I understand your intentions, Vanessa. But I'm concerned about your health and work. It might put a lot of stress on you. Is there a way we can rearrange things? Unfortunately, Helen has already made the plans and I don't want to let her down. But I promise I'll take care of myself and manage my workload efficiently. 
It's just a few intense days, and then we can relax and be happy. I really appreciate that you're making an effort to get close to her. Plus, it'll be fun. I heard she's running a private island or something. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm glad to hear that, Vanessa. I'll make it up to you by being extra sweet and caring during our trip. Not that I already am. <laughs> well, I hope that everything will work out well. I love you. I love you too, Vanessa. Hey, Helen! I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to make it to dinner tonight. I have a lot of work to catch up before our Maldives trip next week. Oh, psh, that's alright, Vanessa. Don't worry about it. You can make it up to me in other ways. Thank you for being understanding, Helen. If I finish my work early, I'll definitely join the party later tonight. I don't want to miss out the fun. That sounds great, Vanessa. Just do what you need to do. I'm glad you're being so understanding, Helen. That means a lot to me. Have a fantastic dinner, and I'll see you later. Thank you, Vanessa. Take your time. I will save a spot for you. Vanessa, where are you? Why haven't you joined us yet? Helen, I'm really sorry, but I still have another report to go through. I won't be able to make it tonight. I promise I'll join you all as soon as I'm done. This is unbelievable, Vanessa. Can't you just take a break for once and have some fun? Helen... I've already put a lot of my work on hold to be here. This is the first and only activity on this trip that I'll miss. I promise. I don't care about your work, Vanessa. You're my sister-in-law. You're supposed to be here. You're ruining everything. I'm sorry if it feels that way, Helen. I never intended to ruin anything. I've been trying my best to balance work and this trip. I'm doing everything I- Vanessa, we wanted you here and now you're stuck with the bill. Who's going to pick up the tab and pay for everything? Oh, wait, what do you mean, Helen? Who is supposed to pay now? I can't believe you expect me to pay for everything. Is it why you wanted me to be here? Oh, so now you're going to act like you have no obligation? You're always talking about family and support. When it comes to helping out, you're nowhere to be found. Helen, that's not fair. Expect me to cover all the expenses without even discussing it is unreasonable. Uh, I don't want to hear your excuses, Vanessa. You said you're going to make it up for me. Now you're twisting my words. I don't want you at the party anymore. Just stay away from us. Helen, please calm down. Let's not let this escalate further. I'll be here to talk when you're ready. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you, Vanessa. You're selfish and only care about yourself. Don't bother coming back. We don't need you. Helen, I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope we can find a way to resolve this. But for now, I'll respect your wishes. Hudson, something terrible just happened. Hella and I had a huge argument. She got really upset because I couldn't join them for the party. And she accused me of not wanting to pay for everything. Oh no, Vanessa. I'm so sorry. I can't believe she would say such things. It's not fair to put that kind of pressure on you. It's just really disheartening to have things turn out this way. I'll take care of the bills for tonight, Vanessa. You don't have to worry about anything. And remember, Helen might be just too drunk to think straight. It could be the alcohol talking. I feel uneasy about the situation. But I want to ruin the fun for everyone else. I'll try to navigate through it and I'll try to navigate through it until the trip is over. Just focus on enjoying the rest of the trip as much as you can. We'll deal with this later when we're back. I'm here for you and we'll get through this together. Thank you, Hudson. I miss you. I'll see you really soon, okay? All right. Hey, Helen. Can we meet to talk it out? Helen, let's not play the quiet game. We can talk through it, yeah? Helen, why has everyone in the bridal party left? Where are you? Hudson, something terrible has happened. I woke up this morning and everyone is gone. Helen is responding to my messages and I don't know where anyone went. What do you mean they're gone, Vanessa? Did they leave without- I a private island and a private jet for this trip. And if I wanted to get out of here, I might have to wait for a few days. I don't want to miss her Maldives trip. This is unbelievable. How could Helen do something like this? I try to contact her. Hold on for a minute, alright? She's not responding to me either. I'm really worried, Hudson. I don't know what to do. Can't believe Hannah would just leave me here without any explanation. I thought we were trying to mend things between us. 
It's not fair to you at all. I'll keep trying to reach Hella and figure out what's going on. In the meantime, stay safe and try to find out if anyone left any information behind. Thank you, Hudson. I'll try to gather any information I can. I just hope the situation gets resolved soon. Nelly, do you have any idea where Helen went? I woke up and everyone is gone. I'm really worried. Oh, Vanessa. So you finally realize everyone is gone. Looks like I'm not the only one tired of you. Excuse me? How could you say that? What's happening? Well, let me tell you. I'm the one who booked the island for Helen. And guess what? I use Hudson's saving for your precious Maldives trip. What? How did you get access to Hudson's saving? That's his hard-earned money, Nelly. Hudson agreed to it, Vanessa. He trusts me with his finances. Unlike you. This is unbelievable, Nelly. Why would Hudson agree to something like that without even discussing it with me? This is our trip. Hudson trusts me because he knows I have his best interests at heart. Maybe he's starting to realize that you're just a selfish, frugal woman. Using his savings without his knowledge or consent is not the right way to prove a point. This is manipulative and cruel. You don't seem to understand, Vanessa. This is about teaching you a lesson. Maybe if you regret losing out on the Maldives trip, you'll learn to appreciate Helen. This is not how you teach someone a lesson, Nelly. I don't deserve this treatment. Well, maybe it's time for you to reflect on your actions and how you've treated Helen. Maybe you'll think twice before mistreating your family again. I don't know what has caught into you, Nelly, but this is not how family is supposed to treat each other. Hmm. Sue yourself, Vanessa. Hudson, something unbelievable just happened. Nelly revealed that she booked the island for Helen using your savings for our Maldives trip. I can't believe this. Please, we need to talk. Half an hour. Please, this is important. I need to know what's going on and how we can handle this together. Hudson, I'm really worried. Why aren't you responding? I need you right now. Hudson, don't leave me in the dark. Tell me what's going on. Vanessa, I'm so sorry for not responding earlier. My phone didn't have reception on the helicopter. Where are you right now? Hudson, I've been so worried. I'm still on the island. What's going on? What helicopter? I have arranged a helicopter for you to get out of there. You'll be able to leave the island soon. Oh, Hudson, thank you. I've been so confused and concerned. What about Nelly? Did you see my text from earlier? After our previous conversations, I started to have doubts about Nelly's intention. I took proactive measures and severed her access to my accounts. She has no rights to use my money anymore. And those checks she's been writing on my behalf will eventually bounce. That's a relief to hear, Hudson. I never imagined she would go to such great lengths to cause trouble for Helen. I was so worried about the financial consequences. I understand, Vanessa. I didn't expect her to stoop this slow either. But don't worry. We'll handle the financial fallout together. Right now, the priority is your safety and getting you out of there. Thank you for taking care of everything, Hudson. I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Really, this has been so much to handle. You don't have to thank me, Vanessa. Just hang in there a little longer. I will find you. I love you, Vanessa. I love you too, Hudson. Thank you for being my rock. Vanessa? Drawn, are you behind this? Helen, let's get the facts straight. What you and Nelly were doing was stealing from Hudson. I had nothing to do with it. It was Hudson's decision to cut off access to his accounts and stop the misuse of his money. This is all you're doing, Vanessa. You turned Hudson against us. I can't believe you would go to such lengths to sabotage me. Helen, I have not done anything to sabotage you. Hudson made a conscious decision to protect himself. I had no involvement in it. You always find a way to play the victim, don't you? I can't believe I ever thought we could have a real sisterly bond. You're just out to ruin everything. Helen, I've tried to be understanding and supportive, but what you and Nelly were doing was unacceptable. Uh, you're just jealous, Vanessa. You've always been jealous of me. And now you're trying to bring me down. Jealous of me. And now you're trying to bring me down. Well, it won't work. I'm going to have the most lavish wedding. And you'll be sorry for missing out. 
Helen, I'm not jealous of you. I have my own life, my own dreams, and my own priorities. I wish you luck with your wedding plans, but I won't engage in this toxic back and forth anymore. Take care. After Nelly misused Hudson's money, Helen had a huge step to repay. She had to work hard and even had to postpone her fancy wedding because she couldn't afford it anymore. It was tough for her, but I thought she had a lesson to learn. Meanwhile, Hudson and I continued to enjoy our comfortable life. We earned it through hard work and honesty. We decided not to help Helen unless she admitted her mistakes and said sorry. Sadly, that never happened. But Hudson and I found strength in our love and support for each in our love and support for each other. Life has its challenges, but we face them with love and so much hope.